be in 3D for this. So I originally found uh, Mishkuch when somebody told me, I can't remember who, I think I saw one of my friends doing a motion capture for them, like way back when they were starting out. So I'm like, hmm, a nice landing video game company, making a third person game. I want in. <laughs> so I sent them a message, hey, I do music. And they said, cool, we don't need music yet. But they told me, call us again in a year. And I did. So I made a pitch for them in roughly like nine months later or so and sent it in probably around 14 minutes long video with like 10 minutes of music and on, on Dade, the writer he, he sent me back like you know what i didn't like about it I said what there's nothing i didn't like about it <laughs> so uh, kept me waiting on my toes and i was super happy about that they liked what i gave them and they wanted me to come on board but first it was only for music for an upcoming demo for GDC. So I did that. I was living in, in the UK at the time, so I did everything remotely. I came to visit for one week to just get everything implemented and then I was back out again on, us, on the next flight. So I thought to myself, well, I can do this. They probably need a lot of audio. So I just called, hey, I might be going back to Iceland. Do you want me in? So that's how I ended up here, <laughs> With, in Mikkur. I started doing just mainly composing and doing uh, interactive music. That evolved into needing sound effects and Foley, so I dabbled into that as well. And then somebody to record dialogue, somebody to mix the dialogue, somebody to do audio stuff in general. So, a couple of months back, I made a suite, a musical suite. Suite, suite, suite. I don't know, it's probably a French word. <laughs> I made a suite about four different thematic materials, four themes. One for five, actually. One for just the general vibe of the world. One for the main protagonist, Rin. One for Isilia, a royal character. And also made a, a theme for the big bad evil guy. <laughs> it took me some time to figure out the themes. So I went on a couple of visits like, okay, so this main character, what is she? And I got a convol convoluted answer, which basically boils down, she's not really nice, but she's not necessarily a bad guy. <laughs> So how do you work with that? Just like, okay, you can do a bad guy thing. I mean, and then you can kind of, oh, I'm a bit more friendly in this one. Still kind of mysterious. Still kind of bad. But she's also a hero. Still bad. <laughs> that was the wrong note. I'm not the most prolific of pianists. <laughs> but so we, so yeah, I made Rin's theme, I made Isalia's theme, I made a couple of themes. I put them up in this big fancy smancy orchestral package, alongside some ethnic instruments played by Sigur Podigretorsson, which you should check out. He's famous without you knowing him. And to, together with his, his uh, style of music, I put together a suite of about seven minutes. Yeah, Isilia's theme was more different. That was be before I knew everything about the character, kind of the, the gist of it. So it's kind of royalty, sweet royalty. So it's just kind of like this. So played by Celeste. For example, and then we of course have the big bad evil guys theme, which is basically both just a kind of rhythm pattern. Too subtle? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
has the thing, but it's for you to find out later. Can't spoil you with all the things now. I mostly come from a, a film scoring background, so kind of looking forward to all the cinematics and like the epic fights and dramatic moments. Mm -hmm.